explanation, but I would love to have some explanation. So I would love to see a little bit more about how you work, uh, how you manage to come up with such great ideas and visual visualizations. So I'm really proud that you uh, say yes to the invitation, and I, I'm looking forward to, to those two months. And with the help of, of the festival from uh, festival staff, we have already met maybe 15 people who are who are related somehow to, to our project. And the thing we are actually doing is is a little bit experimental. We are developing. I mean, our big plan for the next years is to develop a science exhibition around a certain technique of of 3D X-ray tomography scans. And we are working together with the University of Ghent. So this is again a very convenient uh, spot for us to, to develop this exhibition. For example, yesterday we just went to the Museum of Anatomy at the University and we happened to meet the guy. I mean, they have a beautiful collection of pathology samples, pathology samples, PhD study or something like that about 3D scanning the, the fetuses. You know, how convenient. <laughs> First, this. Um, it's a little uh, baby bald eagle, a uh, born dead baby bald eagle. So something quite quite rare and uh, and we are quite happy to have our hands on it. So we will go forward with sc scanning that and seeing how it looks like um, through the eyes of x-rays. And the other one is, is a baby wallaby, which is a little kangaroo. Uh, also something that is not so easy to, to stumble across to, but, uh, <laughs> but it's something we, we also want to look inside and, and see how it is. We are now, after a few days, we are very happy to be here and, and it seems there is a lot more to be found. <laughs> And in 2008 we started a small production company together and we have so far completed four films and I think... Uh, the small bits I think are really done. Yep. You'll see it then, I think. Yep. Yep. So you should have a seat here. Chef is missing. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering all the time what time is it? Because we're having time. <laughs> Considering adding adding some blood. <laughs> <laughs> Hans and Pekka came here in, uh, in February, uh, they started uh, very serious with a presentation of what Hans and Pekka planned to do in these two months and we're going to see what they have done in these two months. And uh, Kirsten was right when she said that it's hard to do a film in two months for example and actually we have started working on, on this uh, data since 2010. And uh, we will see today one of our short films. It just happens to be The Death of an Insect, one of Kirsten's favorites <laughs> in this festival. And, uh, and that's also where we started to collaborate together with Janne Pulp. And uh, he uh, produced some of the technically very advanced and very difficult to, to um, 
to well to render pictures that we needed for the for the ending part of the film. quite a young uh, startup in Hong Kong uh, called Looking, Looking Glass Factory and they're experimenting in doing something called volumetric 3D printing. So we just bought, uh, uh, ordered some of their prototypes. Uh, it's uh, computer generated, it's an abstract uh, picture but you can see how the, the printing technique works. And in, in the final exhibition, we are looking to make different kinds of, of 3D prints. I mean, this could probably be made in, in such size in, in a few years. So it's really a, a new medium to, to visualize. Yeah. This company claims they can print now, at least theoretically, up to 1.5 meters times 1 meter uh, by 1 meter size. So quite big. Quite big it's a fascinating really way to look at the world and look at the very ordinary things around us. And um, to get to the, to the message, or for the reason of it, I mean death and the, the circle of, of all living things and all dead things is obviously a big, big theme. Then we might go to, to evolution where we come from. I mean, it's, it's all open right now. <laughs> Shrink for two minutes. Yeah. 